Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be talking about my updated skincare routine. Um, not too much has changed except for the product. That don't make no sense. Not too much has changed except for the product. Okay, let's start over. Yay! Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be talking about my updated skincare routine. I've had some questions on Instagram and Snapchat and I think my previous video a friend also asked about my acne and my skin and stuff. So I'm going to be talking about how I cleared up my acne um, and how I reduced the look of my crater scars. If you guys have been following me for a while I had really deep indentation like right on the cheeks and they're pretty much almost gone. So first step, I've noticed my daughter using this product for the last few months and I noticed that her skin just looked so brightened and, and alive and that's not dull looking. So I started using it. I've been using it about two weeks now. I don't think she knows because it's her actual cleanser that I'm using. But yeah, um, I've been using this for the last two weeks or so and my issue is that my face is usually darker than the rest of my body <coughs> because my body don't see sun my face is always out my forehead is usually the darkest it's closest to the sun I'm gonna assume that's why but yeah so ever since I started using this cleanser which is the Burt's Bees Brightening Daily Facial Cleanser with Daisy Extract it is this one there Ever since I started using this, as you can see, my skin tone is pretty much the same as the rest of my body now. And it's just been keeping my face looking brighter and um, more luminous. It, it just removes dirt, oil, and makeup. I don't know about all that because sometimes I try to wash my face or wash my makeup off with this. And it just kind of moves the makeup around. It doesn't take it off. It just moves it around on my skin. But this is great for brightening and I only use this in the morning. Following up with that, I go in with my t my astringent. Always use an astringent regardless of what face wash I'm using. I go in with the Dickinson Witch Hazel 100% Natural Astringent for face and body. It just looks like that. Just wipe that all over and usually I get residue left over around my hairline and my ears and down here. That just cleans everything out. Right after that, I use my tea tree water toner water. This is from Lush, and this really helps control my oil throughout the day. It's great for, it's a cleansing tea tree, astringent, grapefruit, and balancing juniper berry. Keep disasters at bay. Beneficial for anyone with oily skin. I love this stuff. It smells good. Doesn't, if, you, from, if, you, if you're familiar with tea tree oil, it's not too great of a scent. But this one smells pretty good. Right after, I go in with my moisturizer. I used this moisturizer um, a few months back, maybe four or five months ago. I absolutely love it. I stopped using it because it's about 15 bottles, 15 bottles, $15 a jar. And it's a drugstore moisturizer. So it was kind of like, that's a little expensive. So after I finished that last jar, I used something else. <clears throat> I went in to use the Alba Botanica moisturizer. Yeah, I used the Alba Botanica moisturizer, which is pretty good, but it didn't, it was good under makeup. It left my skin feeling really silky, and it left it really smooth, but it didn't do anything as far as, like, fine lines and plumping my skin up or anything like that. So I used up that jar, and then I went back to this one, which is really my holy grail. It is the Avalon Organics Intense Defense with Vitamin C. There we go. And this stuff is amazing. The first night that I went back to using this, I woke up and my skin was so plump. I was dealing with fine lines right under here and that's completely gone now. I noticed that it also plumped up my crater scar. I just I just look <coughs> healthier and younger. I just felt younger after using this. It, it smells like oranges. It has intense vitamin C in it. 
oh, this smells so good. It's oil free. It's an oil free moisturizer that rehydrates for improved texture and elasticity. Guys, give this a try. I love this stuff. I just take it and I pat it over my face. Then I take my entire hand, clean, and I kind of just press it into my skin, just like that. And that's it for my morning skincare routine. That's all I do for the morning. At night is a little bit different. If I'm using, if I wore makeup throughout the day and I need to wash my face, I do not go in with the Bird's Bees because it doesn't take off makeup that well. But if I'm not wearing makeup that day, then I will go in with this. The face wash that I use to remove my makeup is the Neutrogena Fresh Foaming Cleanser, a makeup remover and cleanser in one. It looks like that. This takes off everything. I absolutely love it. So I only use this at night on days that I do have makeup for when I want to take off all my makeup. This is amazing. So that's step one for my nighttime routine. And then I go in again with the astringent just to get rid of any other residue. Sometimes I get it stuck in my hair. Sometimes I'll miss a spot or whatever. Um, it's great for like in my lashes also. I just put that in for my falsies just to get off the glue and all that stuff. That's my second step. Let's go in with the Josie Moran Whipped Argan Face Butter. I put this on at night. In the morning, my face is so supple. Like, ultra hydrating. It's winter time. My, I don't, I'm not oily, but I'm not dry. And usually, I'm very oily, but in the winter time, I become more normal. But I, I just love this for at night. I wake up, and it's just like, ooh, I woke up like this, you know, type thing. I just feel really glowy after putting this on. I just go in with this around my eyes. I just kind of pat it on there. I use this as an eye cream. Works just as well. Whatever's left over on my fingers, I go into my lash line and condition my lashes because I wear falsies a lot and my lashes just need some, some love. But I find that that's really helping with keeping my lashes nice and strong and conditioned and I feel like after using that a couple of times the lash glue just kind of just slides right off which is perfect okay, so after putting that oil on and after that um, whipped argan butter argan oil face butter is like set into my face I go in with my acne medicine which is the Curology this formula is not for acne fighting because I no longer break out my last bottle is for acne fighting if you don't know what Curology is, it's a monthly subscription acne medicine. You talk one-on-one -on -one with your provider or your physician, and they come up with a formula for you. Depending on your skin type, they'll, send, they'll ask you to send in pictures. They'll ask you about your skin and, and what you've been using and what works and this and that. And then they send you out your own personalized bottle. This is my third bottle. It's $19.95 a month, but you get a shipment on the third month <laughs> I can't remember I'll leave the information down below third or second month I think it's the third month yeah so it's like sixty dollars a bottle which if you want to compare it to proactive it's about the same except for the first month um, the first promo month of proactive I think they let, let it go for about twenty dollars the first bottle and then after that sixty dollars a month the only thing different with proactive is they send you one monthly. This you get one every three months. I believe it's three months and it's formulated so that you only use one or two months. You only apply it on at night right after you finish everything, all your skincare, your lotion, your oils, all that, then you put this on last. And I really just use one pump. I put it around my fingers and I kind of dot it all this over. This bottle is formulated for anti-aging. I talked to my provider and I told her that my main issue now is fine lines. <clears throat> fine lines around my eyes, my crow's feet, and then my forehead. And she gave me this formula. It has um, tretinoin, clindamycin, and a celiac acid. Acid. And so far, so good. I don't know if it's this or this or both together, but my skin do look a lot more younger I don't know I just look more youthful and not as dull by the way dark circle circles I have puppies my dog gave birth a few nights ago 
and I've been staying up in the middle of the night every two hours bottle feeding. There's two runts. Two. There's two runts in the litter and they can't latch onto her nipple correctly. Her nipple's like gigantic. So I've been staying up every two hours and bottle feeding them. That's why there's dark circles. Ignore that. So yeah, this is my last step to my nightly skincare. I then just go to bed. So now we're going to talk about how I kind of reduced the look of my scarring and my crater pitted scars and stuff like that. If you've been following me for a while, I do religiously believe in the micro needling. This is mine's hair. Mine's. This is mine hair. I got it from Bliss Mind Body on Instagram. Um, when I got it, it was about 50 bucks, but I think she's running a promo. They're now $30. I'll leave her info down below. I do this every other every other day, so it's not a set day. Some week it'll be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Sometimes it's Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. You know, so every other day I just I time myself with my phone. Thirty seconds on each side, vertically, horizontally, diagonally. I only roll on my cheek, and yeah, this is really helping with the scarring and helping with my collagen or boosting my collagen and I'm like out of breath. So right after I roll this I go in with my Pixie Glow Peel Pads. This has glycolic acid, 20% glycolic acid. This really helps also with fading scars. I only use this after I micro needle, so every other day. I only put it on for about two minutes, no longer than that because it burns. Um, it burns because there's puncture holes in my face, so it's really getting in there. And then I just rinse it off with cold water. And then I go in with the rest of my nightly situation, which is the face organ oil face butter and the oil and then the curology. So that's every other day, and that's pretty much it. That's just, that's, that's really it, guys. That's all I do. Mm. So I hope you guys like this video. I know it's short, and I know it's not so in-depth. But, um, there's really not much to show you. I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys know how to put on moisturizer, know how to wash your face. Um, I think... The one thing you guys were asking was what product I use, so there you go. And that's pretty much it. So I hope that helps, and then let me know if you guys try any of these stuff, and if it works out for you. And yeah, so thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.